it kind of connected with me. I was always kind of focusing on innovation, right? And I know that's really important. Is like, really, how do we create new and better opportunities for our kids? And so I was so focused on that that I wasn't really talking about the, like basic skills that our kids actually need, right? And so I always use this analogy. I think it really connects with me is when you think of jazz musicians, the, the ones that are known for being the best have the ability to improvise on the spot. They, they can like create music and they're, but the reason they, they have the ability to do that is because they are so fundamentally sound that they've learned those things. So really kind of, as I'm listening to you uh, talk about this in your work, it's, it's not like, Hey, we're just going to end at reading. It's like, we know that if we actually have the kids with the ability to read and write, that it actually opens up doors to them, no matter what level they're at. So the, the more we kind of focus on, you know, that floor, then we, we actually vastly rise the ceiling, which I think is, is really, really powerful. So I, so I absolutely love that. Um, and Jasmine, and maybe Leslie, I'll get you to kind of expand on this too. Um, one of the things that you talked about, and I feel like I'm being a little selfish here because I am keynoting MTSS Conference in California. And I told them like, I'm not the expert. I'm not the expert. So I feel like this is like a really great way for me to kind of learn more about some of the things you're doing. Cause I think my big thing is I don't like telling people what to do. It's not my thing. I just share ideas with you. And then you got to kind of figure out what you're going to do with that information. Because I, I always default to the people in front of me as the experts. And um, one of the things that it really talking about how do you focus on your, you know, multi-tier support system that you really focus on every student sometimes. And I thought it was really interesting when you talked about, and, and Jasmine or Leslie, you can, you can jump in on this. You talked about kind of sometimes we see the um, external, uh, we have external internal things that we recognize. So how are you ensuring that like literally every student, every learner in your community is getting the support they need where they need it? So I can start. <clears throat> Some students, as we know, raise their own flag. They, they're, it's clear that they need support. There's something going on. We need to be curious and learn what they need and, and provide those supports. But then there's other students who may not raise their own flag and they may be quiet and they may have needs that we don't see. And so we have made a concerted effort to see all of those things. And so uh, Jasmine, you can explain if you want how we've connected our staff to all of our students. We have um, we we approach everything through that MTSS lens that you were referring to the multi tier systems of support and so what do we do at tier one to ensure that we catch every student and no one slips through the cracks and so what Leslie's talking about when she says raising their own flag the kids with the externalizing behaviors we can identify but we want to I systematically identify students that have internalizing behaviors that we can't necessarily see or notice because those are the quiet kids. So we have um, meetings where we meet as a staff and we have our teachers look at their class lists and we talk about who on your class list have you not connected with recently? Who have you noticed has been more withdrawn or more quiet recently? Where do you see some concerns? Have you noticed any difference in behavior? And when you have uh, the power of doing that at a junior high school and you have multiple teachers across the day, if we're noticing a trend, you know, across multiple classes, or even if it's only in certain classes, we can ask the other teacher, what is happening differently in your class? But all mm -hmm. of that helps us bring to the surface students that we maybe need to refer for counseling or have conversations with or talk about, do they need to see the social worker? And we don't want to miss those students because their behaviors are not, you know, the kids that are in trouble up in the office. So that's the way that we try to do that systematically. Um, there's also SEL universal screeners that they can assess and answer. And we use some of that a little bit too, but we find that this, you know, very um, close analysis of our kids in a systematic way helps us kind of make sure we're doing that on a regular basis. 